I actually studied economics as an undergrad and then went to work as an investment banker and hated it. One day I just walked into my boss's office and resigned. And then I came to London to study postgraduate photojournalism and from there I haven't stopped working. I mostly concentrate on conflict. I absolutely consider myself an activist. I want you to know and feel how horrific the situation is in places that I cover. So I wouldn't say I'm objective when I take a picture. I have a point of view and shoot to reflect that. This image is taken in Kashmir. Every day, the Kashmiri population who would like to be independent of both India and Pakistan are demonstrating on the streets. This was a crazy time. The demonstrators became more and more violent, and then the Indian security forces moved in, and this was the moment where the two met. There are stones flying through the air, and I'm getting hit quite a lot by the rocks, so as I was running for some sort of cover, I was shooting pictures as I went. A little bit of movement can add a bit of uncertainty, it can add a bit of urgency. What I'm trying to do is portray what it's like to be in this place. In photojournalism, you have to be part of whatever's happening. And unless you can get that close, you're not going to get the image. I've been shooting various projects in Congo since 1998. Photojournalism in Congo is not an easy thing. 50% of the challenge is the logistics and trying to get yourself to a place where you can take that picture. Recently, I finished a project called The Rape of a Nation, documenting the exploitation of natural resources in Congo. Essentially, the war that we've seen in Congo over the last 10 years has been created by the West's need to consume these products. These were soldiers fighting for a particular rebel force, extracting gold and that gold was then illegally sold on the international exchanges. And this was the source of funding for this rebel group. All of the rebel forces are using child soldiers, and when I say using them, that means abducting children to fight. A couple of hours after this picture was taken, this town descended into a massive battle. Many hundreds of people were killed. 5.4 million people have died in Congo since 1998. We should be stopping this situation. So the anger that I feel, I want to portray that. I want people to feel as angry as I do and do something about it. Some of the images that I'd recorded of the conflict are quite difficult to look at. But I try to balance that with a level of beauty and poetry. This is a Congolese symphony orchestra. Music was their life. Many of them were unemployed. They made some of the instruments themselves. And the sound that they created was extraordinary. It really was one of the most amazing things I've seen in Congo. It's such a fantastic testament to the human spirit and the way that we can drag ourselves up from some of the worst situations and make something very special out of almost nothing. The ultimate goal for me as a photographer is to engage the audience. I want these photographs to affect and change policy. I'm not naive enough to think that I can change the world, but what I can do is provide the tools so someone else can, and I think that's the special thing about photography.